G'day guys, welcome to my Irish Wise Feature video. Today we're going to talk to you guys about NRL's Round 25 predictions for 2021. Guys, let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Raiders going up against the Roosters. Now in this game, the Raiders, um, They've got uh, a couple of players out um, in that game, um, which I think that it's going to be most important. Uh, but this game is going to be pretty much pretty hard. Um, the Raiders aren't really that much of a threat. Um, but since they are a really good team, I just think that they have that potential of a really good uh, victory. But since it's their home game, um, well, not really much of a home game, but like what I'm saying is like a home game, as in like their obviously match. Um, but then, obviously, the Roosters, though, since I did mention about uh, Joseph Manu, he is out. Um, I'm not too sure, probably the remainder of the season. But uh, since it's the last round for this week, um, I just don't think he'll be in the finals. So, yeah. I just don't think he will be. Um, but anyway, that's my opinion. I'm probably not going to be right, and, but I don't know. You never know. Um, but anyway, for all this uh, Roosters side, they are a really good team, but they've got uh, a couple of players out also too. Uh, they've got four players out. Uh, Fletcher Baker, he is out. Um, yeah, so... I just, yeah, and also like uh, Ben Thomas, he is out also too um, with that concussion last week. Uh, so, yeah, what I did think about that potential, um, uh, the players, I just think um, this game's going to be real tough and real hard. So, in this match, I'm going to go with. Uh, the Roosters in this one by eight points, and I reckon they will win against the Raiders in this match. The next game of that match, we see the Sharks going up against the Storm. Now, in this game, uh, this one's going to be a real good blockbuster because the Sharks, they are a really good team. But um, what I do think about this game, um, last time they played against each other, this one, um, they don't really like each other because obviously this game is like. Uh, say the Roosters and Rabbitohs um, as I did think about that um, but it's obviously another um, hate another rivalry and another fight but what I do expect is um, this game will be a pretty much a hard match but since um, no changes for the Sharks um, but then heaps of changes going to uh, the Storm which that means no Cameron Munster, which that means Nico Hines will be replacing him in that number six side. Still Jerome Hughes, number seven um, in that team. So I reckon he'll do well uh, in that clash. Uh, still uh, Ryan Papenhausen, he's um, still there. No, um, yeah, no Josh Addo Carr. Um, I'm not too sure who's going to be on number five, but... Um, yeah, he is out due to a hamstring injury or something like that, um, which last week he was uh, taken from the field. Um, but this game, what I do think about this match, like the Sharks, it's going to be like really tough because without no Josh Addo Carr, the speedster, I think this game is going to be real tough and real hard, but it's not going to be a really, really solid win. But then without like... No spark and speed. I just think uh, the Storm will play good, but it won't be a very good game. So I'm still going to go with the Storm by 12 points in this match, and it won't be a high-scoring game in this game. The next game of that match, we see the Eagles going up against the Panthers. Now, this game, um, the Panthers, uh, they've been really good so far. But the Eagles, last week, they've obviously beaten um, the Storm, yes. But... What I do mention about, like, is how the way they play. Um, obviously, like, um, they've gotten, like, the stars out. Like, they've got Moses 
out. They've got um, Dylan Brown, I think, going to, obviously, the reserves. Um, but what I do think about this game um, is it's going to be struggling for the Eels because, obviously, Jacob Arthur um, is playing for that side, um, which that means I just don't think it will be the Eels uh, win. But since they are a really good team, I just think that the Panthers, they'll just get a really good win because they are a really epic team. And without, like, no Nathan Cleary, no Jerome New, like, Jerome Dewey, um, no Brian Toto, no Stephen Crichton, all those players, without no players like that, I just have to say, like, this game will be a very top like without them it would be like very like struggling for the Panthers but since uh, the Eels are $13 on sports bet and that means um, yeah that means Panthers are on I think a dollar three on sports bet this game I reckon will be a high scoring match so um, without no Mitchell Moses and no Clint Gutherson um, this game it's just not going to be a very good clash. And I just reckon the Eels will struggle in this game. Sorry, um, entertaining us. But I just think, um, yeah, the Panthers will get over the line. So I'm going to go with the Panthers by 18 points in this match. And I reckon this game will be a high screen game. The next game of this match, we see the Broncos going up against the Knights now. In this game, uh, the Broncos, they've been really good. Um, but as I mentioned, like, since they lost against the uh, Sharks last week, 24-16, to um, going up against the Knights, this game's going to be real tough. One hard game, and I just don't think that in this match it will be a very excruciating win. But it won't be very excitement of the entertaining side of it. Because usually the Broncos aren't really good of a team and the Knights aren't really good of a team either. So it's not going to be one hell of an excitement game. And what I do suspect is um, the Knights, they've been on top of their form, yes. They've got like a really good full strength team. But still, uh, Kalen Ponga will be um, fullback for the, um, for the yeah, number one side. Uh, for the Knights team uh, playing in that game. With no Heimel Hunt, Stafford Toa will be number five uh, for the Newcastle Knights replacing him. Um, but this game, it's just going to be really good. Um, but it won't be a really excitement. But still, I just think that the Knights will get over the line. It will have that... They will get like a win, yes. But it's not going to be a really high-scoring game. It's just going to be like a low-scoring game. So what I do suspect is like the Knights, they will get over the line, but it won't be a very top game. And I just think like how the way they play, they play good. They play like very good, but I just think that how the way they play is just really a like, discretion. I mean, yes, but yeah, I'm going to go with the Knights. By eight points in that match. The next game of that match, we see the Cowboys going up against the Sea Eagles. Now, in this game, uh, since there's no changes for the Manly Sea Eagles, um, only one change for the Cowboys, which that means no Ruben Cotter in that game. Um, the Manly Sea Eagles have been really good and they've got a full street team. And I just cannot believe how the way they play against this really good side and well not really good but the Cowboys uh, they've been absolutely like on top of their form but since they won against the Dragons last week 38 to 26 I believe um, this game has been like I reckon going up against the, like the mainly Seagulls they've been really good so far uh, they've been on top of their form and I just think how the way they play is just absolutely like really great to see and how the way they play yes it's just been on top of their form 
um, but they've been great and like how the way like the Cowboys play it's just really like amazing uh, to see but the Seagulls, they're being really good. Um, I like how the way Tom Trevoyfridge plays um, in that game. So, obviously, like, in this match, um, it's going to be one epic game. Uh, so, in this match, like, I expect this game will be a high-scoring game. And the key players to watch in this match will be Tom Trevoyfridge and Jason Saab. So... In this game, I'm going to go with the Manly Seagulls by 18 points in this match, and they will win against the Cowboys in this match. The next game of that match, we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Dragons. Now, in this game, the Rabbitohs, they've been really good. They've been on top of their form. Uh, they've been excellent. They've just been absolutely wonderful. Uh, how the way they play, um, it's just really excruciating. And they had a full street team. But they've rested um, key players out due to the finals. Uh, so what I do suspect about this game, um, it won't be very good. It won't be like a high-scoring game. It will just be a, one on top of their form. But how the way they play, it's just absolutely really nice to see uh, the Rabbitohs get on top of their form. But the Dragons, though, since they aren't really good of a team at the moment, um, with no... Zach Lomax will be uh, Jared Beal, number four, into that side. Um, but what I really suspect about this game is, <coughs> sorry, um, the Dragons will probably get out of the line, yes. And I hate to see if this one will be an upset of this match. Um, but the Dragons, last week they've lost, since they've lost against uh, the Cowboys, 38-26, uh, this game, will be a very, a very good chance that will probably win in this game. But, you never know. Probably maybe cause an upset, but you never know. It will be a very one hard game. But, I hate to see in this match, it will be a very potential of a win. But you never know. It will be a very hard game because since they lost so many players out due to the finals, I'm still going to go with the Rabbitohs, yes, but it will be by eight points in this match. The next game of that match, we see the Titans going up against the Warriors. Now, in this game, the Titans, they've been really good so far. Uh, they've, re they've probably rested a couple of players, um, but... Tyron Peachy has been really good into that side. Um, he is on number six uh, for the Titans, um, which that means no Bunty Afoa and no Chad Townsend, um, which that means like Sean O'Sullivan um, will go into that side. Um, and I think like Cody Nikarima is in number six, I believe. Um, but you never know. Uh, last time these two sides played, it was a tie, and they didn't win at all. So, I suspect that this game will eventually be one hard game. And obviously I know, because, um, well, Titans, they've been absolutely, like, really good uh, so far, but... <coughs> It's going to be one tough game. And what I do believe about this match is... Um, I reckon that this game has just been um, really, like, amazing. And obviously, like, in this match... Um, what I do think about this game is... Like, they've been really, like, amazing and on, on top of their form. Um, but... The Warriors, they're just an art class team, and I just think like how the way they play against this good side is just really amazing. Um, but yeah, what can you do really? So I suspect 
Um, I'm going to go with the Titans by 8 points in this match. So, yeah, Titans by 8 points. The next game of that match, we see the West Tigers going up against the Bulldogs. They are, in this match, um, what I do suspect about this game is... Um, the West Tigers, they've been really good so far, but it's just one hard game and obviously I know for a fact that they are a really good team and what I do suspect about this game is like how the way they play. Uh, the Bulldogs, they've been really on top of their form and I really doubt that because like, no, the Bulldogs I meant to say was they aren't really good of a team at the moment because they keep losing and losing and losing but they put points on, yes but they're just not a very good side at the moment so it's obviously their last game and what I do suspect about this match like how the way uh, the West Tigers play they are a really good team but the, I know they're probably going to rest players out due to finals, yes but it's not going to be a very typical game if they keep resting players. So, never know, really. So, in this game, um, the West Tigers, they've been, up on top, yeah, they've been on top of their form, but never know, like, how the way they play. It's just one tough game. So, I just think... But the West Tigers will get over the line, but it won't be by much. But you never know. Probably will, probably won't. So in this game, I'm going to go with the West Tigers uh, by 18 points in this match. And it will, they will beat the Bulldogs 100% by 18 points in that game. Thanks guys for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, we're doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon, also we're doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more, plus leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, until then, take care guys, stay safe, and have a good one, plus let's get up to 300 subscribers, we're sitting on 216 anyway, so let's get up to that, and I'll see you guys next time, take care.